Vanakam. Hello, I'm Krish Mohan. And I'm Liz Victory. And you're watching Krish. And Victory. We're on the transcontinental tour and we just wrapped up our first week of shows in the Midwest. It was fun. I liked the, there was a lot of great acts that joined us on the tour. We started in Cleveland where it was 12 degrees. Yeah. Fahrenheit. We were, we were at the off. five o'clock lounge. It yeah. was the beginning of our first cold snap of the entire winter. Yeah. And, and it was miserably cold. It hurt yeah. really bad. It was yeah, painful. It was terrible. The show was fun. We had Tim Cornette, Dan Meyer and Handelman did some music and comedy. Uh, and uh, Victory at the Crossroads started us off. At the oh, tour. yeah. Uh, uh, James Earl Blassfield, he hosted. He was great. That he was a lot of fun. Also helped us with tech that saved the day. That was cool. I oh, my that. gosh. That board. That board was intense. <laughs> and then we, uh, we headed off to Columbus to do Odd TV, which was... That was at Interesting. <laughs> Bossy Girls Pin Up Lounge, yeah. uh, hosted by Casey David Ward. We got to do our act paired up with other comedy and burlesque, which yeah. was super rad. And it's a it's a super interesting show because you get to talk to the people right after, and uh, and it's it's like a rolling crowd that comes through, which is kind of cool. It's like yeah. it's like a live a live. TV show. Live if that, talk show. The live talk show, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to do interviews, so stay tuned for those. Those will come out. I, I got some video footage of both Krish and I doing interviews with Casey, so that should be fun. And then after that, we hit Cincinnati. The Vita House, the Vita House in Cincinnati. Oh, that was yeah. great. That was that so was a fun. super fun show. It really reminded me of the Pittsburgh Art House. Yeah, I liked, the, I liked it a lot. I feel like uh, they didn't really know what to do with the comedy at first. Well, it was the first like, time they just, had comedy there and they yeah, were super like, Why psyched about it. this guy about yelling it? about things? <laughs> it like the that's... audience was, was a little confused. It took them some time to warm up, but the... Yeah. Vincent did well. Vincent, Vincent Holiday. Oh, I love Vincent. I love this material. Who is no longer in the world of comedy for now. Supposedly. I don't think this is... Yeah. Sometimes we yeah. all need a break. And well, I get that. I've taken breaks. I've done it. The Vita House was really warm and welcoming, it was rad. though. Uh, Devin helped us set the show up. Uh, yeah. We, yeah, we found some. Uh, our music act I found just by oh, surfing man. the internet. Brittany Brit Gilstrap. Yeah, Brittany Gilstrap. She was amazing. Uh, and then we had Fort Wayne at the Brass Rail. Oh my gosh. Set up by Brent and Soiree. That was insane. Uh, that was a, that was uh, <laughs> I, that was one of the shows where it was like, this is not a conducive environment for comedy, but we're gonna do it anyway. Did I tell you about the guy in the back? That was was like, this isn't a comedy club. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, yeah, we know that. This is just kind of a thing that Chris does. And he's like, guerrilla comedy. And I said, yes. That's, that's totally. kind of what it was. I mean, you can do, there, there's a whole, like, indie circuit of, you know, it's, it's this other realm of comedy where it is DIY touring and independent touring with these little theaters and bars and stuff that want to do comedy Punk dies. yeah yeah but it's it's definitely like you have to you have to let people know that it's there uh which which we didn't so whenever like comedy just happened to be there they were like oh shit we totally I let mean, them we, know we, there we were several people who came <laughs> up to us because they read in the journal gazette that there was going to be comedy at the yeah, brass rail was, and they were like oh my gosh and they were really excited about it's it not a regular so he's thing. fucking full of shit <laughs> it's not a regular thing that happens no the they don't do rail. that regular but that's so, kind of yeah. the the zeitgeist of the tour in in the whole the whole transcontinental variety show thing is we are putting together these shows in places you wouldn't normally see stuff like this and the shows are something you wouldn't normally see like this is kind of a yeah. kind of kind of a newer thing I'm not saying we started it because no. I see this stuff happening, but I think it's happening more and more. Even today, I got a message from Blue Clutch back in Pittsburgh about how she's continuing the tradition of music and comedy shows at the Pittsburgh Art House by putting a show together on February 12th 
to 2016, no idea when this is coming out or if I'll even edit this part out, uh, with Ian Insect hosting, and Ian Insect is a, a, a Pittsburgh-based comic, and so that tradition is continuing, and it's amazing, and it's beautiful, and I'm really excited to watch music and comedy fall in love. It's a great line. Love that line. But what happens next? What happened you next? Came up with it. Yeah, I came up. I'm really <laughs> a genius. Now. Louisville was next. Bardstown. Bardstown, which uh, we did the lounge. There's a theater upstairs that I've done before too, but the lounge is like the perfect little little like room for comedy. Oh, it was great. Uh, it was yeah. We had uh, Dominic or Grave Slave. He he did electronic music, and then we had Kent Carney and Mandy Mc. Kelby. I am in love. Yeah, Mandy's pretty awesome. With Mandy McKelvey. Our our couch surf hosts came to the show, which I thought was super oh, cool. Oh yeah, yeah. So they we got were to awesome. hang out with Luke and Sarah at our show and they got to see our act, which is part of the fun of couch surfing. If you don't yeah. know about couchsurfing.org, it's .org. I think um, so. That's a way you connect can connect with people and find not places to stay, but people to stay with. I think would be the way to describe it. It's pretty so, cool. That was a lot of fun. Then we hung yeah. out with them the next day and we had breakfast and it was really fun. Uh, and then we made it on to Nashville where I spent my birthday being really fucking sick all day long. Which is why I'm super stoked that we got to go to Third Man Records the day before my birthday and I was like a child in a candy store or uh, like Banksy creating Dismaland. It was amazing. I loved every second of it. We both recorded in the uh, like vinyl the, record yeah, booth that thing cool. that they have. So he did a comedy bit that there, there is a one one thing that will ever exist of, of this vinyl six inch 33 record of that him doing, of that bit. Uh, doing some material and uh, me doing what I'm calling right now the prayer bit song, which oddly enough is uh, based on one of uh, some, some of his material. What do you call that? Uh, I lost my faith. I mean, it's not, you can't find it anywhere right now. Let's come to the live show. So you should come to, to a it. live show. And I decide that I want to do it. Right. Or if you end up seeing the whole hour, then it'll be on somewhere. And he sang on it with me too. You don't have to listen to that. I'm going to make it an MP3 and I'm sending it to Jack White because you can do that. I'm yeah, so fucking you excited. To, you don't have to listen to that. <laughs> that was like one of the greatest days of my whole life. And I've been married before. And Third Man Records tops getting married. Yeah, seriously. What else What else did we do? You had a show, didn't you? Yeah, the East, East Room. Room. That was a fun show. We had Monty Mitchell was uh, was closing it out. The East Room was fun. I like the East Room. The East Room is like uh, my favorite room in Nashville because it's like the perfect little comedy room. And it's like the perfect like alt show. Chad does a great job running it. And he's always got an audience in there that comes in and, and they're there for comedy, which is important to see. Like, you want people there to watch comedy and not be a bunch of dickholes, so. <laughs> was I being a dickhole? I don't know. No, I she was... got into, well, she got into like a heckle round with Brad Hinderleiter. That's so uh, fun. <laughs> and, and Brad like handled her really well. Cause like, there's a lot of comics that are just like, I don't know what to say, I don't, and then they just like leave. But Brad <laughs> like kept up with her and he was like sharp and smart. I had and a blast. He dealt with it, pretty it was well. It was kind of cool. I liked it. I call it playing the game. Yeah. Uh, he kept I having to like game. reinforce. Like he's like, this is a comics girlfriend. I'm not being a dick. Like this is a comics <laughs> girlfriend. Just to be like, yeah, she should be able to handle this. And it's true. If you decide to date a comic, you should be able to handle some bullshit. Like that's what's gonna come at you. We're horrible people. We're just not. We are. We're degenerates. I love comics. We're fucking degenerates. Clearly, we are. I bang one. I, you, no. you know, I, I, and that's a lot of fun. My family in India is probably gonna watch this. <laughs> Maybe I don't I'll know. I'll cut that part out. No, It'll that's be fine. fine. I don't give a shit. And now we're in Alabama. 
and we're standing in front of a giant rocket, which I think Saturn is really cool. 18. It's still fucking cold. It's a little nip. It's not awful, but it's it's cold. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not necessarily painfully cold. Yeah. But it's still cold in the south. First and that night, pisses Nashville me off. Cold. Yeah. Oh, well, it snowed. It snowed in Louisville. And then my car door froze and I ripped off my door handle. So that's cool. That's a big, good way. strong man ripping door handles off cars like it was frozen. Nothing. That's like it's not. No, it was, it was frozen. I mean, this is a problem, but <laughs> we're fine. It still opens, which is really cool. Yeah, I mean, so like I'm I didn't like, like break the, the mechanics of the door. I guess. <laughs> the handle was just. I mean, it's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I drove around with the plexiglass on my window for like six months, so that's cool. I mean, it'll be fine. So, how do we wrap this up? Mm, let's just say bye and get back to the car. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. What do you want to eat? I have pizza. We have eggs. And there's a bunch of the shit that we bought. Okay. Okay. We need some sort of sign off thing. I always say stay tuned. Bye! That's lame. Uh, you can find me at ramennoodlescomedy.com. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and then I have a Facebook page and Twitter. Uh, it's at Chris Mohan, ha, ha Sign up for my email letter, newsletter. It's free. Hey, all right. That's pretty cool. Everybody likes free shit. Right? You sound so excited about <laughs> your own so shit. I'm so bad at promoting <laughs> You can find me at listvictory.com. So much more excited about it. That's L I S S Victory, just like the word victory. And you can find me on Twitter at listvictory, L I S S Victory. Really excited about this. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned, turn on, follow us, and watch us go across the United States of America. That should be fun, right? I think so. It's been pretty cool so far, except for a couple of breakdowns that I've had. But, you know, he, he, he dealt with it, so uh, he's still here. <laughs> That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> Bye.